This is Movie Night with the Boys. Hi. Welcome to Movie Night with the Boys. I'm John. And I'm Zach. And we're a weekly podcast that covers movies, TV shows, and video games. And this week, we have guests. What's up? How's it going, John? Tyler and Dustin of What in the Anime have joined us today to talk about something absolutely, completely unrelated to anime. <laughs> and I feel like at least one of them's a little uncomfortable about it. So, no, I don't think either one of us are. It, oh, yeah, I, I don't know, man. We, we, we are, both are. We're, we're both. We're both the sports fans. Like we're good. I don't know, man. You said taking you out of your element was strange, and it is. It's no, no, that was too, for, for, for Zach's comment. Comment last week on that Thor episode. <laughs> oh, yeah, I threw shade while you weren't around. <laughs> wasn't shade. I mean, the whole belt becoming yours thing. Yeah, he 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 has bragging for now, but it won't last long. <laughs> so this week we're talking. Hustle 2022. Uh, LeBron James and Adam Sandler produced it, and Adam Sandler started it with a whole shitload of basketball players. And Zach is going to break it down for us. The movie starts off, we meet the main character, uh, Stanley Sugarman. He's a jaded international scout for the Philadelphia 76ers. And he basically, we see him living on the road. The frequent travels, you know, kind of puts a little bit of stress on his wife and daughter. While he is liked by the 76ers owner, Rex Merrick, he clashes with Rex's son, Vincent. Rex promotes Stanley to assistant coach, allowing him to remain at home with his family. The same evening, however, Rex dies, leaving Vince in charge. I was uh, very happy to see Robert Duvall. I uh, I haven't seen him in a while. I actually thought he passed away, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> I'm taking it that's who the, who the owner was. The old guy was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I... That part wasn't too bad. His son was kind of the most, I don't know. His son. What a pile of dog shit he is. (laughs) He was a hard character to get through. That guy plays a good shitty person. (laughs) Like in all the He plays a good tool. Right? Yeah. So Yeah, he he looked like that guy off of uh I can't remember what movie it was. Um with Bradley Cooper. The the pill movie where he takes the pill, he almost oh, looked like that. Oh, uh, Limitless. Limitless, yeah. Yeah, Limitless. He almost looked like that dude, and he reminded me of him. I don't know why. I kind of thought he looked like Sean Evans from, uh, what's that, Hot Ones, the wing-eating show. Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. you ever seen The Mechanic? Nobody? Yes, I have. Uh, Jason Statham, yes. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, that's the same guy. I, don't know I was reading... I was reading a synopsis of this movie, and I it's the very first thing it said was that he was a washed-up scout. Was he a washed up scout? Because I mean, when you're with the 76ers, that's probably the opposite. Yeah, I never got not, the washed yeah, up thing. Very, yeah, I don't think he's washed decision. out at all. No, I I literally was reading. I can't even know if it was. Yeah, it's literally on the IMDb. Uh, it says a washed up basketball scout discovers a phenomenal <laughs> street ball player. I was like, no, well, you already got part of the movie wrong. So <laughs> yeah, IMDb I think it, it should have been bitch. like uh, should have been like burnt out scout. Like was you he know, he was doing. He was he tired of fine. being a scout, is what yeah. I'm yeah. saying. Oh, yeah. He didn't want to be on the road anymore, right? Yeah, he was yeah. burnt out on like being on the road all the time. Like he, like you could say that, but not washed up. Yeah, yeah. For three months, Stanley is the assistant coach. Then we see Vince demotes him to basically be a scout again. Says, you know, you're the you're the best scout ever. I don't know. He was just being a piece of shit. Right? He called him <laughs> indispensable. Yeah, as like, a scout, as a scout, <laughs> like, right? Uh, yeah. What a sack of shit. Yeah, so basically he gets sent overseas to go look for new stars. Uh, Meeting with former college teammate Leon Rich, he encourages him to leave the 76ers and also become a player agent. So I guess Leon Leon Rich was a player agent. I don't necessarily know why he was in the movie so much if he was just an agent. Right, like shouldn't you have been like you know what I mean? Like shouldn't you have been with the players and not with the like owner? Right, That's a fair yeah, point. I don't, I don't know if he just had so much credibility throughout the NBA world that he just kind of right. So I don't, I don't know. know. I and plus, it's that. it's Kenny Smith's character. If you don't put him as one of the main yeah. characters in the movie, you know, he's, yeah, yeah, no, no, I get that. But I mean, they could have made him like some part of like the team like you know what i mean like mm-hmm. that whole agent thing like that's just what i mean like doesn't make sense like why would the agent be hanging out with the owners 
but I don't really know yeah. too much about the Yeah, other. unless he was like trying to promote a certain player, but you never see him with any player. It's always just him. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. Well, I mean, he worked for he didn't. I mean, he worked for the NBA, right? Not for a team. So, I mean, that's kind of what he that's does. fair. Yeah. So that that was the whole sense of Adam Sandler's character, Stanley, not wanting to be in the same world as him because he wanted to be a part of a team. He wanted to be a coach. Yeah, exactly. But, right. So, yep, so. Oh, well, yeah. All right. So we pick up with Stanley. He basically goes to Spain to find another player and the player is supposedly injured while he's there. He's out on the street and he hears a ruckus on the basketball court. So he goes and checks it out and he's just like stunned by this like great street ball player, right? This guy was smashing like like smashing balls out the sky, dunking like I was like, yo, this guy's pretty dope, right? And he only played like it the actual guy, the actor, only played in the NBA for like a couple years and now he's back mm-hmm. in Europe. He's only twenty six yeah. too, which is even crazier yeah. to me. Yeah, I think he, well, yeah. we just kind of looked up a little while ago that he just got released from the Utah Jazz back in June. So, yeah. the end of June. So, he, I mean, he very well could get something else, but his career stats don't. I, I doubt he'd get another shot, but I didn't even know he was an NBA player, and I watch the NBA every single year. Like, I, I watch yeah. all the playoffs. I watch everything that I can. I look at it every day, and I did not even know he was a player. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I have no idea who this guy is, right? I also I didn't like, know the other creepy giant guy was a player either. So, which creepy? The one oh, that like, was ele- the the twenty two year old with the twelve year old oh, son that was clearly also twenty two years old. Bobo or whatever the big the yeah, big huge yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah he's yeah. almost more like a funny character. Even in the NBA, he does a lot of like he kind of jokes around. But he just he's been traded a lot lately. But he's a I'm pretty sure he's like way older than that too. Like I'm oh, pretty he sure he's been, be. the, he's been the league. Oh no, yeah, he time. is. He is, and that that's the joke, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but then yeah, even yeah. still, like. Yeah, later on you see him and he's like, "Yeah, I'm here, bitch." And it's like, and he's 18. he said he was 18 later on, which was ridiculous. Yeah, right. So, so then we see Stanley, and Stanley tries to talk to this guy. He says the weirdest shit, like, "Oh, you, you fascinate me. You are like the most interesting thing." And everybody oh, on the yeah. bus, everybody on the bus is like, "What the fuck is going on?" <laughs> right, like. He fucked me up because he's, he's like, like he's like, what? Did, did I say something creepy? And it's like, yeah, dude, yes, yes, you fucking did, right? He said he guys like him fantasize about guys like that. Yeah, right. <laughs> he yeah. fucked me up when he said that, right? So that that was pretty good, right? So then he actually follows him back to his to his house, and he tries to interact with him, and but he comes out with a cricket bat, which I thought was kind of weird. I didn't realize they played cricket that much in spain that's just my ignorance <laughs> right so he introduces himself and we learn that this guy's name is Bo Bo cruz basically he gets he gets Bo to trust him by facetiming with dirk New- newinski yep, right yep. and yeah basically proves that you know he's a good guy he's actually there for the nba he's not some creep who's trying to i don't know have sex with him right <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i I the parts that I, I I don't know about too much is I like how he's the all the NBA players see him as like this amazing scout like he's well respected but like he gets crapped on by the 76ers organization just, I mean I understand it's just the sun but like I mean it almost makes you feel like he has no credibility and he's trying to earn that after having 30 years of experience it's like it's like almost the whole time he's just trying to like I understand he's trying to get that assistant coach but it's like he has to start from scratch and I I don't know. Yeah, That's and I think, that I think that is kind of the reason why he does what he does with Bo, right? Mm-hmm. Be, because he's like, he's, I think he even says it. He's like, you know, I've been here for 30 years or whatever, and I have nothing. Like, they give zero fucks about me, right? Yeah. So While he was footing the bill fucking hand over foot, <laughs> I don't know how the hell he got all that money. I have no idea. It's just, uh, I guess makes, he make good probably money. Probably but... makes decent money being the scout. Right? Yeah, yeah, but uh, it, it can't be. It can't. It's all paid it for be. by the team. Most of yeah, no. yeah, all the travel and stuff. So all this money just goes towards. No, no, I'm talking about when, uh, well, you haven't gotten there yet, but you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's one thing. So it's only really the hotel. So he could probably <laughs> afford the hotel. Yeah, it just goes on the bill, right? So basically, they let him in. Bo and his mother, Paula, recount his life story. 
He's very talented from early age. He was invited to play in America at the age of 15, but he stayed in Spain after his girlfriend became pregnant with his daughter, Lucia. Bo now works construction and makes extra money hustling at basketball. Basically, he invites him to the practice in, the, in Spain. After an impressive workout with the members of the national team, Stanley urges the 76ers front office to sign Cruz immediately, but Vincent is unconvinced. Taking matters into his own hands, he pays to bring Cruz to the U.S., telling him he will be signed by the Sixers or enter the NBA draft. At the airport, Bo is detained for an aggravated assault conviction he received in Spain. He is released, but warned that he could be deported if he is to be arrested anywhere in America. You got to throw in the little twist in the movie there. What, you know, the conflict. (laughs) Yeah, right. And I don't know, it kind of just like, you know, gave Vincent some fuel to like his bullshit to kind of like, I don't understand what his beef was against Stanley because like, you know, like the dad was saying, like, you never used to take shit, but it seems like he takes shit from this kid and he's never really stood up to him. So it's like, I don't know why Vincent's such a piece of shit towards him, right? Especially when the guy's so, okay, whatever, go ahead. You know what I mean? I, like I honestly, it probably, it seems like one of those scenarios where he was probably jealous that his father gave this guy so much attention when he wasn't even his real son and let him do kind of what he wanted. And so I think Vince uh, wanted to make, I don't know, a name for himself and get rid of all of his dad's, get rid of all of his dad's connections. Yeah. And I honestly thought he was going to lose the assistant coach job the three months prior. Like I thought he wasn't even going to get it. When the, when Bam. because you find out he dies, oh, yeah, and then it's yeah. like one of many of those things that's like, oh, it never happened. Because there's another movie that did something just like that. I can't I can't think of it at the top of my head, but I could have swore he wasn't going to get that job. That's yeah. what I thought too. Yeah, no, I was I was expecting that, but then I was like, oh, he got it, and then I'm like, oh shit, is he going to get fired now? Like, mm-hmm. like oh, that was my first. God, that's I even said that out loud to my girlfriend. I was like, oh, well, he didn't get that job. <laughs> right so all right so then we see stanley he takes Bo to a showcase organized by leon which is also attended by the presumative second overall pick kermit wiltz who is a piece of shit huge <laughs> piece of shit <laughs> fuck that guy hey he is an outstanding basketball player though yeah don't get me wrong but like i mean i know like there's lots of shit talking basketball and you know what i mean like most of the time you don't hear it right so mm-hmm. you don't really know how like like aggressive and 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 you know how much mm-hmm. shit talk these players have to like listen to and not react to right oh yeah i hated his character through the whole movie and then i'm like wait that's anthony edwards i was like oh my god i didn't know that i was like now i'm like do i hate him as a basketball player and then uh <laughs> and then uh, like i liked him last year you know you know and dustin said something about how he just he really didn't want to say those lines in the movie yeah i found an article as we were like doing a little research before we got on here and he apparently was like i didn't even want to do that scene like he felt so bad about saying those things (laughs) i can imagine yeah Yeah, it was pretty it was pretty bad stanley advises Bo that if he shuts wilts down it will significantly raise his stock with the sixers during the workout cruz shows flashes of talent but struggles on offense and at guarding wilts who trash talks him and throws him off his game when vince passes on Bo, stanley quits the sixers to prepare Cruz for the nba draft combine six weeks away telling Bo his only weakness is his sensitivity he builds on his mental toughness teresa and alex assist with the training by preparing meals and taping workouts Bo improves drastically through stanley's coaching but leon can't get him into the draft columbine after vince spreads information about Bo's assault charge furious at stanley Bo eventually reveals the charge stemmed from a fight with lucia's mother lucia's mother's boyfriend after she tried to claim sole custody of Lucia. Stanley admits his injured hand was from a drunk driving accident while in college, derailing his basketball team's season and putting him in jail for six months. Their trust is renewed. Stanley works tirelessly to get Bo in the combine. With success to create interest, Sugarman enlists Julius Irving to create a viral video, The Boa Challenge, where people, including 76 players Tobias Harris, attempts to score on Bo Cruz for money. Cruz is eventually accepted into the Combine, and Stanley flies Lucia and Paola to the U.S. to support him. Bo impresses in the physical elements of the Combine, but faces off with Wilts again in a 5-on-5 exhibition game. 
He initially performs well, but Kermit begins to trash talk about Bo's daughter and mother, so he eventually breaks, pushing Wilts to the ground and storming out. Both Stanley and Bo think their journey is over. At the airport, Bo's flight back to Spain, Leon calls about a private game for players and the front office members that Bo and Kermit have both been invited to. Playing without pressure, Cruz locks down Wilts defensively and demonstrates his offensive abilities. Rex's daughter Kat, who recognized Stanley's talent, reveals she is taking over from Vince and rehires him as the assistant coach. Then we see five months later, the 76ers and the Boston Celtics tip off for a game against each other, with Stanley now assistant coaching the 76ers and Bo playing for the Boston Celtics. And that is the end of the movie. What'd you guys think of it? I think there's a lot of parts that like definitely didn't make sense like i i the whole like there at the end of the movie when uh vince you know pretty much either gets fired or lets go or whatever and doesn't really go into that um and then the sister kind of takes over again and then like if i was stanley i'd want nothing to do with the 76ers you know for yeah for sure but um any know, chance think, of that brother ever coming back i'd be like nah <laughs> yeah it's, well they don't like they everything hit the news like right away like i'm you know about Bo and everything so i'm surprised they didn't go through anything about vince or why he's gone or like i don't know just kind of like change it up a little bit and then the other thing um i think if they would have had Embiid um from the 76ers i think that would have helped their movie out even more because they had stars that they had a lot of stars but they had they also had players on the 76ers that are like in talks to be getting traded right now so it's kind of funny so True. but you gotta but you don't do like they filmed this like they could have filmed this last year for example too right right well Embiid was talked about as like the main center point of that team and i'm surprised he was never really in the movie oh they probably didn't want to pay him that much <laughs> Yeah, something probably. like 64 cameos in this movie so i'm not surprised yeah, I, yeah. if it beats where you stop you know you got a problem <laughs> that's true that's true but no i overall i really enjoyed it it was it was pretty good i wish there was more street ball though like because like that's my thing i really enjoy street ball right that's where the Hustle title of the movie ball. that's where the title of the movie kind of was a little weird for me it's like it's named hustle and it's like, man, he's grown up um, in the streets of of Spain and he's hustling these people. But it was kind of more just not even hustle. It was just him getting to the NBA. So like, yeah, the right. title yeah. works with a part of the movie. But and then him being so sensitive. I mean, like I said, you were growing up in the streets of Spain. If you're going to get that sensitive over an NBA player in a, like these really nice courts, you think he's gone through a lot of more hard battles. Yeah. And trash talk also... on the streets. Yeah, but we also uh, like think too with his bad English, right? Like it wouldn't have affected him as much because, like, maybe he wouldn't understand certain things, right? So, like, that yeah. that yeah didn't really make sense. But we'll yeah, get I just into feel like that. if you play any kind of sport, trash talk is something you just get used to so fast. Like me and Tyler, mm -hmm. all through junior high and high school, played basketball. Me and him trash talk each other all the time. Like it was like such a common deal. And if you're hustling on the streets, I'm sure that trash talk is just as bad, if not worse, than oh, an yeah. NBA player. Oh, yeah. I play second base. I should talk the hell out of the players when they're on my base. <laughs> yeah. A step yeah. further That's than Tyler that, too. first base. <laughs> you could take that a step further than all that, too. He was a fucking construction worker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you should yeah. be able to to handle that talk a little bit maybe right. but that's what out. it seemed but it, like he did like in like spain that guy was shit talking the whole time he didn't react whatsoever but then as soon as he got to america and this guy's talking shit to him in mm. his s second language you know what i mean it's like oh yeah. now you're affected so that that's well kinda... and maybe it's because he was out of his element and he wasn't in his streets you know you're more comfortable or you're homegrown but even yep. then it, you know i don't know uh, I also have to point out, though, like, he was playing ball in Timberlands. Like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's some shit. Like, but he's a he's a big ass dude, though. Like, he's real tall. Well, I guess that leads us into the good, the bad. And the meh. <laughs> <laughs> it's been weeks since we've done one. How about we let the guests go first? Uh, either one of you. Fuck it, Dustin. What did you think was good about this movie? Uh, I thought there's a lot, a lot. There's a lot of good with this movie. I really enjoyed his whole kind of like that training montage. I thought that was really done well, showing just like the hard work it takes to really improve as a player and stuff. I thought that was done really well. Nice, nice. What about you, Tyler? Yeah, um, I thought like 
a lot of the cast, they really didn't go wrong with any of the cast that they chose for this movie. Like, even just the basketball stars that they did pick, they're all highly, like, looked upon in the NBA and stuff like that. And you get Kenny Smith, he does, he does a fantastic job. Um, and then I was actually surprised Queen Latifah being in the movie because I was like, oh, man, she's kind of in the movie. I wasn't too excited, but she did really good. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and the movie really didn't hit me. I know it was kind of in the beginning, but I was kind of just casually watching it. And then all of a sudden when the owner dies, it's like, oh, crap, here's where the drama kind of starts. So I, I got a little excited then and I got a little more into the movie because I didn't know how this movie was going to be. But it, for an Adam Sandler movie, these last couple, I mean, he's hit it out of the park. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, Adam Sandler is he's just Adam Sandler. You know what I mean? Like, he's just he's great. You never know what you're going to get from him. But every <laughs> once in a while, you just got to you just got to check into the movie to see what it is and it could be one of your favorites it, it, it is really a good movie for a sports movie i don't know what I, you guys aren't really sports guys but is it pretty top for a sports movie for you guys i would say i would say though i i've but i've watched a lot of sports movies like one of my favorites is still the longest yard like <laughs> yeah. and again adam sandler, Another adam sandler. <laughs> yeah yeah so you know what i mean um uh, but yeah no it's it's up there like it's really good more so uh, a drama over the uh, over comedy, right? Mm -hmm. So, but no, I well, I like in it. any of the any of the comedy that they did fit in, they fit it in like really good. They didn't overplay the comedy. The jokes fit in with their characters, you know, them kind of shit talking each other. And yeah. uh, I just love how he's he. And sorry, this is your guys' podcast. I don't want to say it, but like uh, how he talks, he he goes to Bo and he's like, "Oh, your your mother is a whore," but yeah. you know, <laughs> since she does it for free or. <laughs> You know, or they at least get paid, but she does it for free. So <laughs> I right. thought that was kind of funny. Yeah, he says, oh, no, your mother's not a whore. Whores get paid. Yeah, yeah does there it you for go. Free. <laughs> and she runs up. That shit was hilarious. Yeah, this movie was no Thor. Um, definitely. I was about to the say, jokes, this is like the opposite of Thor. <laughs> the, the jokes definitely work in, in, in that sense, right? It was serious when it needed to be serious. You felt the seriousness, right? What about you, John? Man, you guys touch a lot of good points. I can't, I cannot compliment Adam Sandler enough when he does something that's less comedic and more serious. I don't know if any of you seen Uncut Gems, but the movie is a fucking gift for his roles. It, it, like, it is really good. I think when he gets out of his cat, like his his cast of like David Spade and stuff like that, I think he does a lot better. I think yeah. he he's not like has to like fit those characters in so i think he does a way better job with that yeah you know the, when the he do over do over was pretty good it was all right uh, i don't know that i saw that one but i like uh, again uncut gems uh even even the movie click when it gets serious it gets so serious and it's like oh shit he can really deliver an emotional beat that a lot of people wouldn't expect because he's a comedian mm -hmm. and it's yeah, it's, it's mean, just a gift. you gotta think of big daddy too though the amount of None of people made that Big Daddy may cry like, and that's a, a much older movie, right? I want my own ass. You know what I mean? So yeah, no man, Adam Adam Sandler's the man, dude. Like yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I really got nothing bad to say. Yeah. So and what about you? Since you didn't give a good yet, I did. I was agreeing with everybody. Oh, I mean, oh, I figured you were gonna do something <laughs> on your own. Everybody, there's so many, there's so many people here now that like yeah. you guys steal all my points. <laughs> good but um yeah you wish you could have stole my points at the end of i know exactly that's why i said good <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah no like rides deep I, I enjoyed it i really enjoyed it i mean i don't it's hard to pick a moment but yeah like them shit talking each other the montage just even just like stanley himself like you know what i mean seeing something in this kid and, and putting everything in into him you know what i mean so yeah and then realizing he's actually a failed nba <laughs> star kind of makes you like oh like i was like i was like oh he's in the nba like oh maybe i'll root for him a little bit like oh he's already out <laughs> yeah right it, it was in as long as the movie <laughs> yeah right so yeah no i enjoyed it um so what was your meh john so this is the thing i don't have any real good connection to basketball so all those cameos meant shit to me and it's not that they didn't mean you know value obviously i know names like shaq and barkley Allen iverson those are big names that have stretched beyond basketball but i'm sure i'm not the only person that went into this movie thinking oh adam sandler i'm probably gonna have a good time and then got 
this person they didn't recognize, that person they didn't recognize, and it just, I mean, you know. I probably watched the trailer, though, so. That's fair. I probably could have done that and figured this out. But, again, meh, because the cameos are lost on me. Oh, Whoa. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, know. It, how, you got to, you know, if you had the basketball movie that goes in the NBA and you had no cameos, what were you going to do then? Fair. But, again, if someone just said Adam Sandler and puts it on, because there are people that don't watch trailers because they don't want things to get spoiled for them. Yeah, but think we about know it, like, those people. What about like Like Mike, right? That movie with Lil Bow Wow, right? I forgot that was a thing. That's even a- they, <laughs> even they yeah. had cameos and stuff, right? So I mean, you yeah, can't. They really made a remake movie, to that. Like, like, I, how did you like? Uh, how'd you like Space Jam? <laughs> <laughs> no, let, 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 I'll put it into a, a better perspective. Sixty-four or whatever the fuck number it was of cameos was a little bit too much. Nah. Yeah. No, but they I was excited every face. time I saw one pop up. I'm like sitting there, like tapping my wife. I'm like, look who that is. <laughs> she didn't care, <laughs> yeah. but I cared. Yeah, right. And like, but they weren't in your face. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it wasn't like Doctor Strange. Like, oh, all the cameos walked out at the same time, and you know what I mean? They and then played died at the same time. Spoiler. For them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so like they weren't like all in your face. They were just kind of there in the background, or you know what I mean? Like they were practicing with the team, right? So like I thought yeah. the cameras were done really well. As yeah. as much as as much as I like LeBron James, I'm kinda glad he didn't put his own face in the movie. I'm so glad I was I was surprised, to be honest, I was surprised he wasn't in mm-hmm. the movie. But they did yeah, mention him. him a couple times though. Yeah. Uh, you got to. He's he is one of the best, but um I, I also didn't understand why they chose this player specifically to cast as Bo Cruz. Like he did awesome he did perfectly fine but like to show the career of this basketball player like you you probably think in his head during filming this movie like all these players are like better than him and he's yeah. trying to play a movie where he's better becomes you know better than him you know for you know projections because you know yeah better than his own personal career right yeah, yeah. so it's it's kind of that that's hey, kind of like sad maybe, form, maybe, i guess maybe after all the training in the movie he'll make a comeback See him playing like Bo, right? right? Call him the cruise missile. No, he got a, he agreed to do the movie so he could be made to look good. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I wonder how much money he made from it. Yeah, exactly. What about you, Dustin? What was your meh? My meh? I don't know. I don't have them. Like, I think it's something we've already touched on just the whole smack talk getting to him too much. That was kind of my meh. Um, other than that, I didn't really have a whole lot because I really enjoyed this movie. Basketball is my favorite sport. Oh, okay. well, that or soccer. So okay. Okay. I played basketball all through junior high and high school for fun. And like, I, lo- I love basketball. So seeing those cameos, seeing the training, seeing him do the drills to get better. It was just, it was really cool to me. So I enjoyed it. Well, as Stanley says, soccer sucks, Dustin. <laughs> I know he said that. He said that. I'm like, ah. But like then, he, sports, then he, tri- so. he, tr- he tried to say, oh, okay, I guess soccer's good. <laughs> no, it's not. And then he's like, no, so- no, fuck no, I can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Tyler? I don't know. I think maybe they could have had, I wish they would have had more teams kind of involved. I feel like they just had the 76ers for the scouts, and then all of a sudden, Boston Celtics come out of nowhere, and they're the only team that were in her. Like, you know, he he's he's being introduced as this, like, I don't know, uh, how do I say this? Kermit's like the number one player coming out, and then all of a sudden, Bo Cruz looks like he's becoming, like, just top there with him, and then there's no other NBA teams that are involved. Nothing gets said, and then I, him him losing his cool on the court kind of was like, come on, man! Like y- yeah. you keep ruining your chances. Like they kind of go back over and over. Like there was about three different times where he almost wasn't gonna play, and then all of a sudden he gets this random shot at a at a you know where there's no witnesses, just some owners and some players. And uh, yeah. I mean, I thought that was cool. You get? And I feel like that part was just to bring in all those NBA stars, like you were saying, John, like they had all those cameos. I think that was just put into the movie to where they could bring in more of those cameos. Cause like Trey Young, like he's a really, really good player. And um to see him in there, I was hoping I'd see him more, but then he was just kind of in that game. So it was just Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, like I, I even like I see Trey Young like playing a lot of like Drew League. Like even I've even mm-hmm. seen LeBron was playing in the Drew League. Like this, yeah. Just this week, this weekend, you were playing. Yeah. So I was like, huh. Right. So yeah, no, I was expecting to see more things like that. But like, even they even brought in like the professor. They brought in a whole bunch of like globe trotters mm-hmm. as well. Right. Mm-hmm. So yep. my, but like, so my math was the fact that he didn't even really use any of those 
like you didn't see him doing any like dribbling skills so it was like what was the purpose of having the whole professor training montage oh, right because right. he didn't really use any of like any dribbling skills not that a big guy like that would right but it's like i mean i understand well, you're, you're training your control but it's like Still, he could do all the, some cool shit. So why didn't he do some more of that? Right? Even even training him on that one that one move that he was doing that they showed a couple of times. Um, they I I thought they were gonna put that into one of like when he was in like his scouting basketball games. I thought they were gonna show <laughs> that move. I don't think they did. No, no, that's what I mean, right? So that's probably my meh. All right. Well, then how about since you've given your meh and your good last, you start with the bads. I got one word uh, for you. I got one word for you, and I'll, I'll let you take mine. Vincent. Okay. Yeah, basically. Um, that That's basically what I was going to say. Probably, yeah, Vincent. He's shitty. Uh, or Vince. <laughs> whatever right? his name is. But, um, but yeah, like just the fact of like, you know, he finally got his dream, and I was like, oh, that's nice. You know what I mean? And I, if, for some reason, I didn't really think that it was going to happen that quick. But then when he got called to the office, I was like, oh, damn, it's over, right? I thought he was actually going to stay the the coach, and then the movie was just going to move on from him being a coach. But then that piece of garbage had to uh, ruin that. So, <laughs> so yeah. What about you, John? Y'all said Vince. I say fuck Kermit. That guy, what he said <laughs> about that little girl and... Being dude's st- or being her stepfather, like I, he didn't say anything bad about the little girl. He no, no, said, but oh, she, oh, she likes me. That's that's the only thing he said really. No, 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 but, but he he said that he was gonna be her stepfather, and boy, <laughs> boy, I fuck hated that shit. I hated that shit as a person who's had a daughter with a fucking stepfather who's been a gigantic pile of shit. That fucking hit me right at home. Fuck that guy. Right. Tyler, what about you? Jesus, I can't I can't top that. Uh bad. All right. Um, <laughs> um You could also have no bads if you want. Like, yeah, you don't yeah, have to. I, I really don't have like I said, this movie it's probably one of my favorite of the you know the recent Adam Sandler movies. There's some that you just can't replace, you know, like you said, like the longest yard and Happy Gilmore and stuff like that. You can't get you can't replace. But this was like really good. This is right up there with like Uncut Gems. I really like Uncut Gems. That was a really good movie. Um, so I'm like saying what's good about it again, but bad. I mean, you, like you said, you got, you got Vince, um, Kermit, he did suck until I realized he was Anthony Edwards. And I'm like, oh crap. Like I feel bad now. Cause he's one of my favorite players. And, Your personal uh, bias is aside. Yeah. So I'm trying. <laughs> um, I don't know other, other than just him being so goddamn sensitive, like made no sense for his character. He's this six, eight, six, ten, whatever you want to be. Like he shouldn't be scared of anybody. Yeah. yeah. You shouldn't be scared of anybody, but you know, you, you get talked, you know, your family gets talked about. That's every basketball player out there that talks about that, you know? So, but they had to throw something in there. So other than that, I really have no complaints about this movie. Other than that, I'm just being a little too yeah, negative, you. but Yeah. Yeah, no, but we all do it. We all do it. Yeah. What about that you? It's, a lot. it's compared to you guys, it's no, it's 10 times better than Thor. So I'll, uh... yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's not even close. Yeah. So what about you, Dustin? I don't have a bad. I'll be the only one without a bad because, like I said, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. Taking the easy way out. Yeah, yeah I am. John, what was your highlight scene? Really had to think about this one because there was a lot of uh, enjoyable scenes, but I ended up coming down to the last tryout. That whole from from when he got there and people started turning their heads and when he started just kind of putting people in their place. Just that last shot all together, you know, with Stanley getting his redemption, Bo getting his redemption. You, you really couldn't top that. Everything was falling into place for them both. And it just it was really cool. It was really good to see. What about your letdown? Well, I'm going to toss it to the guys because I'm assuming they both have highlight <laughs> scenes. So we'll let them go, and then I'll try and think of a letdown. Uh, yeah, I, I guess for like my favorite, I liked when they first introduced uh, introduced uh, Kuz's character. I liked when he, you know, he's out in the streets hustling people. I liked. I thought that part was really cool. That's where I got into the movie because it gave you that that longest yard kind of feel. Yeah. You know, when they're all in like the prison and stuff like that, and you get these players. And, uh, so I, I kind of got that feel towards it, and I thought that was really cool. That was probably my favorite part. What about you, Destin? Um, mine is actually the payoff at the very end of the movie. I was expecting Bo to go to the 76ers at the end of everything, but just seeing, you know, Sugar Man come out, and he's the assistant coach now. And then you got Bo on the Boston. They have that little moment where they kind of crap talk each other a little bit before the game. That was my favorite scene. Okay. okay. I thought maybe yours would be the hotel pornos and the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> 
And that was pretty funny. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what? The, I am not. He's like, yeah, he's don't, like, don't see what you off. watch. <laughs> who else? <laughs> he's like, who else could it be? And he's like, fuck. It's like, okay, yeah, it was me. It was me. <laughs> <laughs> don't whack off while I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was great. That was pretty great. I'd probably say that would probably be my highlight since you guys took all the other good parts. Good. Hey, I took an easy one. I took one in the beginning. <laughs> my letdown scene was, I don't know, maybe just the beginning of the movie because it was kind of like slow, very slow, right? Like I understand what they were doing, but like, you know, I, I really like this movie, so it's hard for me to pick something like a bad scene. I'd probably say just the beginning of the movie was a little too slow, so I'll put that in there. But it's not, but it's not bad. It's just slow. Right. So. Yeah, 15 think, minutes long. Yeah, so I'd say that's probably my letdown scene. That's it. That's fair. That's fair. So with that being said, what the hell am I doing next week? <laughs> what are you doing next week? Yeah, we're doing Gray Man. Oh, yeah. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. Doing so it's, uh, I guess speaking of next weekend and going forward, it's a good time to bring up the fact that Johnny Boy here needs to take a little bit of a break. He's going to be stepping away. I'm talking about myself in the third person like some kind of a douchebag. <laughs> I'm going to be stepping away from the podcast for a little while just to get myself some mental health clarity. Been a rough couple of months, nothing to do with the podcast, but you know, life can get a little hard sometimes. And sometimes you need to just give yourself a little bit of breathing room. So Zach's going to keep it going. He's going to have guests. He's going to have people come and help him out. I'll still be doing stuff behind the scenes a little bit, but you won't be hearing my voice for a little while. And uh, I hope you still listen. I'm sure that I'm not the reason you do keep listening, but you got to give yourself more credit than that. <laughs> <laughs> when I come back, I'll give myself the credit that I probably you go. do deserve. <laughs> well, at least when you when you come back, you'll be refreshed and then you can. Yes. Can, I, you know, I guess maybe Zach doesn't think this, but maybe win an argument against him. <laughs> <laughs> I am the master debater, okay? Yeah. You're a master sure. debater? <laughs> I'm sure you are. And I'm a cunning <laughs> linguist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I hope anybody gets that reference. If not, I'm so sorry. You have missed a very good movie there. But if you don't, at least you won't hear his voice for a little bit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Douche. I'll... I'll try and keep it going. Yeah, we have a couple guests coming on in the future. Like I said, yep. next week we're doing Gray Man with Johnny DC from Dynamic Duel. So yeah, that'll the be man who that doesn't way. get enough credit as being a solo act. Everyone wants Marvelous Joe. But yeah, so with that being said, make sure you check out the Geek Talk Network. That's and all of us. I'm, but I'm going to let them tell you about it. So take it away, guys. Yeah, so we're all members of the Geek Talk Network. This is the whole crew here. Um, I brought this idea up to Zach a while ago to do this network, and they were all down for it. So that's that's what brought us all here today. We are from What in the Anime, where we talk probably too much anime. Uh, we hit news, reviews, and topics, and what games, and you know whatever we feel like talking about that day, we do. And we've had Zach on a few times, and you know. He likes to brag about his Jeopardy win, but it was a fluke. That's all that I'm going to say about that one. That sounds one and like o, regret. Baby. One and O. That sounds like <laughs> regret, Dustin. Maybe you wish you didn't bring him on to lose that title. Yeah, maybe. Next yeah, time he'll go up against more... Tyler to defend his title. You should have yeah, put more was... movie questions in it. Yeah, I should have. You were <laughs> terrible at the movie questions. It was Leia. It was fucking Leia. Yeah. Yeah. In my defense, I'm not a huge Star Wars fan, so that's that's why I missed it. See, in Zach's defense, what... we were watching a Star Wars series at the fucking or just finished the Star <laughs> I Wars. I forgot, series. but I re remembered as soon as I, I remembered exactly what happened as soon as the answer came up, bro. It was one of those brain. That's, that's parts, usually what, that's usually what happens think. when the answer appears. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, damn, he got strangled with the chain. So. You had multiple choices, and two of the people that he listed weren't even there. At least one of them. Yeah. Maybe not maybe not two of them, but at least one of them wasn't even there. All I don't even those, remember who all, was there. I don't, I don't think the four Oba... of those characters were there. Uh -oh. Because it was on the ship. They were about to throw Han Solo into the Sarlacc pit. No, they so were about like... to throw Luke into the Sarlacc pit. Well, Han Solo was also there, though. Right? So either way, was they it? were throwing somebody in the, in the Sarlacc pit. Yes, they did. Yes. That's what it is. <laughs> so Okay, I'm misremembering, but I still got the damn <laughs> question right. 
I no, love how my come, question breaks on an me. argument on your podcast. <laughs> don't come for me. Does that mean I did a good job as a Jeopardy host? <laughs> yes. Absolutely. If yes. it travels Definitely. through time and goes to a different podcast. <laughs> yes. Definitely. Definitely. 100%. So. so Tyler, tell them uh, where to find you guys. Yeah, so we can. I think Dustin kind of has us on any anywhere you can find a podcast. Either you know uh, Spotify. Um, we're on YouTube. Um, we were doing Twitch there for a little bit, but we kind of stayed away from there. Um, and then we just do different segments. We always try to do some anime stuff, and then we always try to kind of play a game in there. Either we're doing Jeopardy or we're doing anime intros. And that's when we brought Zach on to do the Jeopardy. And hopefully, here in a couple of weeks, we can switch up the host and uh, participants. I think that would be kind of fun. Um, yep. I believe this week we are going to try to do Boruto, uh, the anime versus the manga, on what the difference is and why you should read the manga and not so not hate the show so much. But we're going to try to defend that the best we can, even though that has probably worse ratings than a lot of these uh, crappy Netflix movies. But uh, I don't know. <laughs> like, so that's that's your main topic. Like, you're not doing a review next yep. week. No, we're we're doing a uh, skeleton night from another world review. We're we, okay. we're going to hit a review every week, no matter what. Okay, okay, okay. Gotcha. Yep. Gotcha. Yeah, okay. we're doing skeleton night this this week. Yep. Oh. We're spring. We're finishing up our spring anime lineups, um, and then we'll go into our our summer and um go from there. So I think what this week, like you said, we had skeleton from another night, and then what's uh, we next week we have Tomodachi game. Um, if yep. you're interested in any kind of like uh, some like thriller. Squid Games kind of styles animes. This one might be for you if you like Death Note. Dustin's compared it to like the Death Note kind of back and forth um, between like Light and L. You get a lot where, of that same. Where is that playing? Crunchyroll. Oh, it's on Crunchyroll. I'll check it yep. out. So what's it called? Tamagotchi. Tomodachi game. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say I remember my and Tamagotchi. They probably don't have really it small. in English, John. <laughs> oh no, it is all twelve episodes oh, in English. They have yep. it in dub. Oh, wow. Yep. Mm-hmm. All 12 That's episodes. A lot easier. I have to say, like, yeah. when you guys said you were doing Spy X Family, I was like, yeah, I have to watch this. And I like I watched like the first two episodes. and I was like, dude, I am hooked. And I just like, <laughs> yeah, watched the, whole, the yeah. whole series. And I was like, this is amazing. But like, oh, so good. You, you guys mentioned the dog. Did I miss something? Because I don't remember them actually getting the dog. Yeah. It was at the very end. It was like one of those. I, th- I think it might have been playing during the credits or something. It showed the dog. And in the manga, that's the dog they get. And it becomes a main yeah. character right alongside all of them. Gotcha. OK, so I did. So I did just miss it because I was like I was waiting. I was like, because the last episode played and I thought there was going to be one more episode like featuring them getting the, the dog or something. Yep. So I, I guess I misheard you guys. I think, then, no, that's right, kind of what so. our bad part about that show was, was it just ended. Like the first season yep. just kind of okay. stopped and we're just like, I didn't even know it was the last episode. Yeah. So. The next episode for me started playing and it was in the German dub. So like, <laughs> okay. they're, so they're like driving on the highway and you just hear these two guys like talking in German. So I was like, okay, like this Other looks <laughs> awfully, awfully familiar to the beginning of it. Right. But I was like, okay, maybe they're picking up from something that happened there. And the two guys in the car were German. So I was like, oh, this is not bad. And then it just mm. cut to the next scene and you see the spy and he's like talking in German. I was like, oh, oh, I see what happened here. <laughs> Do you guys want to promote your social medias? Uh, yeah, you can mostly find us on uh, Twitter and uh, Instagram is kind of the ones we've been using the most as of late. Uh, what in the anime? If you can't find it by looking up what in the anime, it's what in the anime dot podcast. And we're also going to try to get some TikTok videos going again. Well, those, those are always fun. Just too too many things to try to do at once. And so it's it, like I was telling Dustin on a lot of our previous episodes, just every week goes by so fast. And then, you know, trying to get prepared for each week. There's a lot of stuff you got to watch. So it's nice that you guys do movies and stuff like that. I mean, I'm sure Stranger Things and stuff would take a while for you guys. But well, we, four, but we, we put movies. a two episodes a week did you yeah right See, that's, so, that's some dedication there so we because we have a we have a tuesday tv show and then thursday is when we put out the movies right so like we have to watch a full tv sh- series and or just an episode some like if they're, they're coming out weekly then we'll just do like a one episode review type thing but like you know netflix right. drops full season so then we have mm-hmm. to do a full season review right so right yeah. But we're we're a couple weeks behind anyway, so it's not killing <laughs> us. So. But I usually I tend to finish everything within the first week it comes out anyways, so it's not too too bad. 
I'm getting better yeah. at that myself. <laughs> yeah, he's having to having to get better. Uh, I'm getting to the point where I like watching the movies like right before I do the podcast or like right because I, there was times I was doing it like six days before and then by the time we're starting I'm forgetting little bits of stuff you know so like yeah. this one I, I I was watching it last night and then I finished it this morning when I woke up so that way that way I could <laughs> it's I find it's a fresh. lot easier to do the reviews when you've like because like the last one we did when I watched Thor I had a much easier time of like recalling what happened because i literally watched it like two hours before we recorded right mm-hmm. so it was all just still fresh in my brain so but yeah like with the TV series it's hard it's hard to yeah you don't have to be sorry yeah. i mean as i don't know why but like as the movie marinates like with me i don't it's hate getting it. worse no 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 it's not it's not getting any better but it's just like i'm kind of just not hating it as much right it's just another so you want to watch it again just, I might actually watch it again to see if my hate is worth, like if it deserves the hate. So when it's yeah. free, I'll put it on. And if I can get, if I can't get through half of it, then I'll just be like, yes, this movie is garbage. I'll never watch it again. But yeah, it's only going 45 to days till Disney Plus, so. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Right? Well, see, and like uh, I was telling Dustin, or he, we were talking, I went, he went into really high expectations with Thor. I had zero. He, <laughs> so he went, he went high and then he was like, well, this is awful. I went in with, uh, I haven't seen it. I might go see it today. We'll see when my girlfriend gets home. Um, I had really low expectations for Dr. Strange because I got so much crap on it. And then since I was in it with low expectations, I really liked it. So it's like, Same. depending how you go into the movie, I think, I don't know. It's just it like, def- yeah, I, no, a hundred percent. Yeah. I was going like, I watched no, no way home for the second time. And like, I had such high expectations, badass movie. The first time I watched it, I didn't care for it. The second time I watched it just because yep. everything was already you know, all the cameos and spoilers. There was nothing else to the movie because it basically what the Spider-Man movies like to do is make nothing goddamn relevant because nothing ever happens. The only yeah. Spider-Man movie that really exists is the very first one of, of Tom Holland's. The other two, they pretty much have been deleted. Yeah, right. So, so, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Like, I watched Doctor Strange again, and I was like, this is not good. <laughs> and maybe I got to watch it again. But I, I actually, I, I liked it. I don't know. I like, hate Wanda. Same thing, like... I don't like Wanda's character. Okay. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I really I, like Wanda. But it's the same thing like Spider-Man, right? All the oomph is kind of gone. Like, it's not, mm-hmm. it doesn't really have that rewatch value. Right? But like, the, I don't. Did they put all their stuff into cameos for Doctor Strange, like Spider Man did, though? No, I think yeah. more or less it was like everyone was so hyped about the cameos they thought they were going to get, and then they only lasted ten seconds, and everyone was upset. Yeah, I, I just I think expectations going into any movie where they don't give you all the information up front is a foolish idea. Well, like, see, I like Thor in the comics, and that's why I went in with highs because I love Thor in the comics. I liked the third Thor movie. And this is the worst Thor movie I've ever seen. So even yeah. you agree the first Thor movie was better? Yeah, oh yeah, by far. Oh, good. I'm so glad yeah, I'm not he, alone. He, he did in the it's chat. It's a basic origin story, but it is better than Thor 4, by far. Uh, once yeah, I watch it, I'll find, because I hated the first movie. Yeah. Right? Yeah, no, and re-watching all three of them, like, recently, I was like, yeah, no, this series is not good. I think, actually, I even dropped my overall for all of the movies while we were doing Thor 4? Or, or was it yesterday? No, it was, I, it was, I, I think it was while we were doing Ms. Marvel. Yeah, during I think Ms. Marvel, I downgraded all all the movies. So Thor 1, <laughs> Thor 1 is a 4, Thor 2 is a 5, and Thor 3 is a 6, right? And then I'm pretty sure I put 4 at 5, out of 5. Oh, really? Yes, because yeah, I had no. zero expectations. So like, I know I ripped the movie apart, but that's my job. Yeah. You know what I mean? But like I didn't hate it like I didn't hate it like you guys did. Like that's the thing. I dude. hated it. I don't know. You so. gave you gave Ragnarok a six. I don't know if I believe any of your opinions now. That's that's like Tyler's favorite. <laughs> but I love that freaking movie. I've watched it's the only Thor movie I've watched more than I like think two or three times. I, I explained it in it, it, during the podcast that like I was just at Thor fatigue. By the time I hit the third one, yeah. I was just over thor so like that's why my ratings were a little low like lower than like you know what i mean so 
I was just like, oh, God, here we go, Thor 3. And, like, I just couldn't get back into it. Like, I'm just like, all the other two movies just kind of drained me, right? That's why you start off with Thor 3, and then you go to the other one. (laughs) yeah that's that's probably how watch it do. watch it watch it in a different order and maybe it'll be better <laughs> yeah all right two, John. two three one four in that order <laughs> no you don't all even right. watch four you don't even consider four anymore like that's that's a multiverse story me. doesn't exist yeah i was gonna say what do you what do you think the odds of that movie taking place in a different universe so they don't have to explain it away as garbage what dustin dustin said it was 80 percent decline in the second weekend yeah, that's not surprising. Yep, I looked up and Forbes magazine said 80% decrease in sales. I think in I saw one 68% weekend. additional this weekend too. That's fucking that's awful. It's bad. Yeah. yeah. It's a real missed opportunity. Yep. Oh, all right. Really quickly before we take off our social medias. Instagram, you can find us at MNWTB Podcasts on Twitter at MNWT Boys, TikTok, MNWTB Pod, and on Facebook at MNWT Boys Pod. Uh, where else can we be found, Zach? You can find us on YouTube at Movie Night with the Boys! Exclamation mark. All right, well, yeah. well, guys, with that being said, it's been real. It has been real. Yeah, thanks for letting us come on the show. Yeah, yeah no for sure. Always. Yeah, you guys are always welcome. See ya. Thank you all so much for listening to Movie Night with the Boy.